I'm gonna go drop this off at UPS. I will keep you guys posted. Well, you'll already know, because through the magic of editing. Deja vu. I think I have this exact same scene in another video. Got my receipt, and uh, we'll see what happens. Whatever, you've got a lot of things ahead of mine. That's fine. Maybe hey, you with your how you doing guys? Yeah. Today I'm gonna just update you on what's been going on with my whole Mavic Pro situation. I don't need these. They're not even plugged in. I see a lot of YouTubers with headphones on when they're doing their shows, so whatever. Okay, as you can see, I have a Mavic Pro. Not just a Mavic Pro, but an entire Fly More combo that is brand new. If you're new here, you might ask, why is that a big deal? I'm gonna point you to the link below in the description that will bring you up to speed so I don't have to go through everything in this video for my subscribers who are here just to see an update. This video is gonna just be summing up my entire experience with DJI customer support with my Mavic Pro. January 20th, I received my Mavic Pro. January 21st, I noticed the issues and then everything went from there. If you're not familiar with my story, check that link out. Okay, to get you up to speed, as you can see, I have a Fly More combo right here. It is all brand new. From the last video, March 25th, I posted that video, and that same day, Saturday, March 25th, by that evening, I got a phone call from DJI, and he was apologizing sorry. for what was going on. Basically, he was told that someone from DJI contacted him and asked him to reach out to me. Super nice guy to talk to. We spoke for about an hour on the phone, just shooting the shit about drones. That was a pleasant phone call. During that call, he explained to me a lot about how the Mavic growth has caught them by surprise, which I think most of us know that. Their company seems to be growing at a rate that their customer support is not growing with. It does sound like their support is greater now than it was three years ago, or even one year ago, so that's good. One thing I learned and I was told is that the Carson Center does indeed get new Fly More combos, new Mavics at their, their facility. Now, whenever someone sends a drone in for their DJI Care Refresh, they're supposed to get a new product, not a used one. This is what I was told from the beginning I would be getting. That's great to see that they did finally get that taken care of. And now I just need to do some testing. I'm getting ahead of myself. During that phone call, I asked if I could sleep on my options, which one was for them to try again and send me an all new product, or two, get a full refund. And I debated getting a full refund, I really did. At the end of that phone call, I basically asked if I could sleep on it Sunday since they're closed Sunday, and they could call me back on Monday, and I would make that decision whether I was gonna get a refund or try once more. After debating it all weekend, I decided to go ahead and give them one more shot. I thought them reaching out to me, and not only reaching out to me, but the comments on that last video, so many comments by people having issues with support. And what got me was DJI started commenting back to those people. Now, I'm not sure how many of those people DJI has reached out to and they've solved those issues. I hope it's all of them, I really do. The fact that they found my video and they started reaching out to other consumers that had issues, if they are solving any of those issues, that's great, that's, that's huge in my eyes. Myself and many of you viewers, we all seem to be on the same page that the big disconnect seems to be from their support to their exchange repair team. When I spoke to them on the phone, it seemed the one of the big issues is that their support team isn't near their repair center or their exchange center. There's an exchange center and a repair center side by side. They're connected, they can walk back and forth to each other, they can deal with each other. There is not a support team connected. There needs to be a triangle of those three things. DJI, if you watch this video, I can only suggest your support team needs to be near your repair center, near your exchange center. Those three teams need to work together. That seems to be the biggest frustration I've seen from other customers. There's a disconnect from customer service, whether it's DJI chat or phone, to what's actually happening. That it seems like the customer itself is just as aware as DJI support is. That they basically know nothing on this end what this end is doing. If you guys can fix that, no one's gonna be able to touch you. Monday, whenever I got off the phone with them, they told me not to use the other shipping label. They were expediting my shipping there to two days. I wasn't able to get to UPS Monday. I got there Tuesday early morning when they first opened up and I sent it out. DJI received it that Thursday. I was originally told when mine came in that 
the replacement would be sent out overnight, same day. However, I did not write attention on the box, so it was not checked in that very same day. They showed it checked in the next day, Friday. I assume that's when they shipped it out. I was not sent a shipping tracking number. I was not sent any confirmation that it was shipped out. The weekend rolled through and Monday morning, bright and early UPS knocked on my door. That being said, I still have to do more testing with this one. I do have some footage showing that my initial testing, which I've done like an 11 minute flight and I've gone through and I've been resetting all my settings. I try to make them more cinematic. I tone down a lot of settings and I use a lot of slow stick control, but that's for another video if you're interested. I would love some comments and some ideas in the sections below, but yeah. That is about it. I still have more testing to do on the camera and the gimbal on this, but so far it's checked out okay, or at least a lot better than the original. Thanks everyone for subscribing. Thanks everyone for watching this video. Thanks everyone for watching the last video. You know, I, I really appreciate all those comments and hopefully DJI sees this one too. If you haven't gotten your case heard and you haven't had DJI get back with you or you, it's still left up in the air, comment on this one too. Hopefully enough people will tell their stories that DJI fixes this and keeps improving. That's the one thing that I have noticed is they do seem that they are trying. Whether they're just saying fluff to keep people from talking, which I highly sort of doubt that. I just, I really think it's a lack of communication between support and between the facilities doing the repair or replacement. I am gonna put a link below in the description to State Farm representatives that do the PAP plan and cover the entire drone. So if you have an accident, it falls in the water, you can't get it back, they cover it. It typically is about $60 a year. I definitely recommend getting that. I've got it. My DJI Care Refresh was supposed to be updated to this Mavic. I put a note in the box to make sure that was done and it was supposed to be started again for the day I received this, which would be Monday. I've emailed DJI to confirm that that was done and well it's just the second now so it's not that big of a deal but they are trying to find out if that was done it would have been nice to get a note in the box that said more than this this is, this is the note i got in the box it would have been nice to get a little something more maybe hey thank you your dji care has been hooked up to this one i don't know if my entire experience with dji was the way it was this second time returning my Mavic, I would have given them in the top five customer support situations that I've probably ever dealt with. I wish everyone could have the experience I had the second time through. I gotta give mad props to the guy. He didn't want me to mention his name, but I do give mad props to you. So if you do see this, thank you very much for stepping up and taking care of my situation. I hope that you can push the same customer service you gave me out towards every customer that comes through. There's a lot of new users out there. A lot of people have never flown an RC plane, an RC helicopter, or an RC drone before. You didn't start out with a small tester one or a small one to learn how. And they're buying the Mavic because it is a hot potato. It really is. They're going straight to this and they're wrecking them. They're wrecking them left and right. It's a huge influx of noobs flying these things. And that's fine, but it's also making the repair center crazy busy and the growth of that repair center is having to increase with the influx of these. And it sucks for us. What it sucks for is, is the end user. I mean, it sucks for DJI too because they weren't prepared for it, but that's not really our fault. It does sound like they are taking steps to rectify this situation. So my fingers crossed that you guys have a better experience with DJI. I will be doing more testing and I will do another video showing the results of this camera as I use it more. When I'm turning left and right like this, the horizon is staying pretty solid. I notice a very slight bank whenever I'm going left and right like this. Okay, it's not nearly like it was before. I don't think it's gonna be a problem, but like I said, I've only done 11 minutes on this so far, so I've got more flights to do, more testing to do. They gave me an extra battery. How cool is that? By the way, this is an amazing bag. All those people who are like, oh, the DJI bag sucks, it's not even usable, you can't fit everything. Check the description of my video. I'm gonna go ahead and post two videos of two different ways to pack this bag, and this bag is just badass, it really is. UPS came this morning about 10.30 and dropped this box off.
This is how it came the first time, too. Oh, they sent me a DJI bag. Well, that's cool. Looks like I got an extra battery for my trouble, so that's really cool. Very nice. I appreciate that. Thank you. A double XL. My girlfriend can use that as a nightgown. Although it looks really small. I guess it's China sizes. I'm wearing a large right now, and this is smaller than that. It's interesting material. It's almost like uh, biker shorts or something. And a handwritten thank you. That's pretty cool. It's brand new. That's awesome. This is how it should have been the first time, in my opinion. Boxes are all beat up. Brand new bag. And brand new fly more accessories. Thumbsticks feel perfect. No weird clicking, no springy click click. If you haven't flown one of these yet, this controller is the bomb. It's changed the game. This is what I expected the first time, and the extra battery just, I mean, that's just awesome, man. I gotta figure out how to pack this bag with four batteries now. Yeah, this is good. We've got the Bluebeard still. I'm gonna use the iPad mini. That baby is holding level. It's like it's on a string, so that's good. So you don't hear people talk about the zoom feature that much, but there it is, two times. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn. That is staying pretty solid, but that would not happen with my last one. Go ahead and do it fast. Oh, yeah, that's a huge difference. Look at that. That is solid. That is that is how it should be. Now banking right, I am banking full right, stopping, now banking left. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for watching. Go through my channel, share a video you might like, and I'll see you next time.